Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create an audio extension. So, when we were coding this audio player, we made so many challenges. For example, there are no methods to set volume. You see, there is no method to set volume. There is no method to mute and unmute. And when we need to get the current minutes, current seconds, total minutes, total seconds, we had to do this calculation and it can be tiresome. So we are going to build an extension that you can use not only in this project but in any other audio project to help you have methods that you can use to get this and set volume to simplify your work. So we are going to create a new file going to be a JavaScript file and we are going to save it as audioext.javascript. So how you create an extension, for example, in this case the audio object has its own properties and methods. But when you want to add properties and methods to this audio object, you tap it that way, then you add a dot prototype dot now the name of the property or method. So in this case I want to begin with a method to set volume okay so i'm going to say dot set volume equals to function okay now this function will become a method that will be used to set volume instead of writing audio dot volume equals to t we'll just say audio dot set volume we will get to that so it's going to get take in one parameter which is volume so this is how it is going to set the volume so before we set the volume we need to set it to a, an appropriate value the volume has to be greater than zero but less than one so we're going to check so for example if vol now this variable that we're going to pass there is greater than one we set now this is a keyword that requires the audio object that's calling this method okay so this refers to the audio it says set the volume to one if it's greater than one make it one because one is the maximum else if the volume is less than zero you set it to zero okay else if now it fits in now you set it to that volume that was passed in okay so we're going to test this one then we'll add much more functionalities for muting for getting current minutes okay but let's first test. So we go back to our file. So for us to import this functionality for our audio object, we are going to have to import this file here to include it. We're going to use a script tag with an attribute of source. So the source is going to be. So by doing that, we are adding a method to our audio object. So instead of changing volume like this, we can set volume now as a method. Okay. It takes in an argument. Like that so you see we have added a method to our audio object like this so let's go back to the browser and test you see you see it's working okay so another cumbersome thing that you find with this is you have to calculate all these things again and again and again so for that, we're going to create methods, okay? So a method to get the current minutes. Let's copy that. So we're going to add another audio dot prototype dot get current minutes. We make it a function. Now. This function will be used to return the current minutes, okay? So we are going to return this that current time divided by 60. In so doing, we can come back here and instead of having to calculate all this, we will just say audio dot get current minutes. See now we are using a method on the audio object, so we made that change. Let's go back and see whether it still works. See it's 
still works. So because of time, I'm going to give you more code. This you're going to read. So this is more code like that, but the idea is the same. Okay. So you can get this file. You can post the video and go through it and copy it. And now you can use methods instead of having to do the same thing over and over again. So that's it for now, your next lesson.